summon the so-called boogeyman of the south. I just let him play the game. You called for him, and he came! Some have dubbed him the Lua, the keeper of the graveyard, the giver of life, and the master of the dead. Jeffrey, who was that in the background, man? That's Devereaux, man. <laughs> you can't tell, too. He doesn't have a shovel in his hand, but he's <laughs> you don't want to mess with him. <laughs> oh, man. How you feeling today? I'm doing great. I am such a big fan of yours, and it's just a total thrill to speak to you today. And uh, thank you so much, man. Man, thank you. You're in one of my, my, fav my favorite places. My, oh. yeah, my wife's favorite places, Las Vegas. We was just <laughs> there not too long ago, so we, we come out there pretty often. Oh, man, we'd love to have you anytime. You're more than welcome. <laughs> yeah, most of. You know, Vincent, why is it always a group of dumb kids who unleash evil playing a board game? That never ends well, does it? <laughs> never, never, ever ends well. Because they hard hit. They all about, oh, let's see if we can do this. Or it's not real, so let's test it anyway. So <laughs> when you test it, you end up getting spanked or killed. <laughs> In a glory fashion. <laughs> And, and Devil Rose, a ghost story that has a southern setting and twist. I mean, the boogeyman of the South. Man, this movie has such great mood. And it, I just think the South is such a, it's such rich in history and folklore. And it just, I, I think it's some of the best moments in horror. Oh, yeah. I mean, when, I mean, it starts off with the graveyards. <laughs> when you, when the tombstones sit on top of the, I mean, with the, yeah, it sits on, on above ground. That's kind of scary by itself right there. And then you, we've always heard all types of stories about, um, you know, the voodoo and the curses and all that kind of stuff in Louisiana. So, but you know, we filmed it here. We tried to make it look like Louisiana. So, the movie magic, huh? <laughs> oh yeah, and especially the house. The house is in Burbank, California. So the house has definitely shot a lot of uh, movies there that you know makes you think you're in the south. But hopefully in the future, we'll be going to Louisiana and I can have more of that feel when I'm walking around with that shovel or with that axe. <laughs> well, they call it the Luwa, the keeper of the gray yards. You know, Jason has his machete. Michael Myers has his kitchen knife and the devil roll has a shovel. You know, I, I think it's so cool creating a new horror icon. Yeah. And I, and I, I love what you just said, because that's my that's my thought. Exactly. I want him to be one of the new faces of horror, you know, with the Jasons, the Michael Myers and the Freddies and, you know, stuff like that. So, um, you know, I don't know if they kept it in there, but you know, how everybody, they have, they have, they have their own uh, thing. While my thing was the bells with the, is the cow bell. So when you hear those cow bells, you know, something's about to jump off. So hopefully they kept that in there. <laughs> And tell me about uh, the look of Devereaux. I mean, is that the makeup, uh, time in the makeup chair and the look, definitely voodoo in origin. Was there much discussion on that? Well, it had it had to look as if he has been burnt. And so once you see the movie, you understand what I'm talking about. As far as the makeup, it's not, a, honestly, it's not a lot of makeup. It's really a mask. It's a mask, but then you still have to, you know, they still had to put some makeup on here and there. You know, the covered eyes, the neck, and all that other stuff. Matter of fact, hold on one second. It all started off with this. <laughs> with this. And so this is what they made the mask out of. So, yeah. And I really didn't like it because I'm claustrophobic. <laughs> oh, man, I've seen when they make those kind of masks, but you had to stay still and they put the straws in your nose and all that. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was some torture. You suffer for your art. I love that. <laughs> yeah, I had no choice. <laughs> <laughs> and tell me about working with the great Tony Todd. I mean, he says I've interviewed him many times and they don't come any better than that. Oh, true professional, true icon, not just horror icon. Um, he started off doing plays just like I did. Um, I tell people all the time, if you can do a play, you can do anything. Because when you when you touch that stage, it's action. There's no cut. If you mess up, you better know how to play it off. So I have huge respect for Tony for coming from from um, from theater, from the stage. So and you can tell in his performances, you know how he just uh, commands the 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 attention of people. You know, not just by his voice and his presence, but just 
you know, him being a true professional. And working with Thomas J. Churchill, uh, I mean, this is his baby, you know, many discussions on on the character and all that. Was he, is he an actor's kind of director? Uh, he's really, he's really laid back. You know, he likes to keep the energy, you know, positive. Um, he tries to keep it, everything smooth and try to make it so we don't have to be there all day. <laughs> <laughs> He has you in mind. I, I love it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, call, also, I hope we see you at some horror conventions because, you know, we have a lot of them across the country. So hope you'll make some appearances because I love hey, to man, hope hopefully that now people can kind of put Oscar from The Walking Dead aside. The plan is to be at every convention <laughs> you can think of because I, I'm, I'm proud. You know, I'm proud of of what I've created. So for me to go and people to be like, man, we love the movie or we love your character, the, the character look or whatnot, you know, it's, it's it, it makes you feel good. You know, it really and truly does, because I'm the type of person I, I talk to people. You know, I have real conversations with people, good, the bad, past, present and future. You know, I just I'm not just there to, you know, collect. I'm there to to really talk and to influence and teach and preach and inspire and all that stuff well vincent we're at the very beginning here i'm I'm happy for you congratulations and it's exciting to be here at the very beginning and uh man this has been a thrill so let's do it again soon okay i'll, I'll see Indeed. you in vegas soon come to vegas soon i will i will oh, wait good thing my wife didn't hear that because she'll okay. be like we go next week <laughs> <laughs> i'll be waiting for you buddy <laughs> all right brother take care thank you jeffrey take care thanks <laughs>